welcome to Camp Corona Day 68, a virtual, imaginary vacation land. Today, as always, we have five activities for you. Number one, there is a lot of discussion about opening up going on. That's got me thinking. When do you think it will be time to go home from Camp Corona? How will you decide? Are you waiting for camp to be over officially and then you'll go home? Or will you go home and camp will keep running for those people who still want to attend. Let me know what you're thinking. I know that today Camper John left Camp Corona to get a haircut. So that was an interesting thing, whether Camp Corona is going to be increasingly letting campers go off campus. We'll see. Number two, write in your journal, Five things you did, five things that you didn't do, five things that you wanted to do. So yes, I might write that yesterday, I got my first delivery order from Imperfect Foods. And this is very interesting because imperfect doesn't mean rotten. It just means bigger or smaller or left over. And I got some very delicious tiny little apples and a bunch of other things that looked kind of normal, but I'll be telling you more about imperfect foods as I explore that option. Number three. I was thinking sometimes, like in the French Revolution, there was a move to rename the months, rename the days of the week. Do you think we should have a special name for Camp Corona time? Would it be Pandemonia? Or would it be Coronado? Or would it be Home Ever? How should we call these now 68 days we've spent at Camp Corona? Instead of just talking about, well, I spent two months, if, you, if we could agree on the name, like home ever, then we would know what you were talking about. Number four. You can see I'm thinking a lot about this opening up stuff. What is the first thing you want, would want to do when Camp Corona is over. Think about that carefully and let me know. Number five, still on the opening up theme. Now, taking bets is usually not thought of as a wholesome camp activity. That's something you might do at a casino or at a racetrack, but I think we'll relax the standards a little bit. And why don't you think about asking the campers in your household or other people who you're in communication with to bet on when the next time you will get to go swimming is. Write down the dates and the amounts of money that people are willing to bet. And we'll see who wins and who loses. So send me your activities. Let me know your suggestions. Happy camping.